Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How many laws restricting women's rights? The history of women's rights in the United States is marked by numerous laws and court decisions that have both restricted and expanded women's legal rights. In the 19th century, women faced significant barriers to entering professions. For example, the case of Bradwell v. State of Illinois in 1873 determined that the right to practice law was not a privilege or immunity guaranteed by the 14th Amendment, allowing states to deny law licenses to women. Married women's rights were also limited. Until various state reforms in the late 19th century, married women did not have control over their earnings or trade licenses. For instance, in 1870, Connecticut and Dakota granted married women control over their earnings and trade licenses, while Wisconsin passed a law in 1870 prohibiting courts from denying admission to the bar based on sex. The Civil Rights Act of 1964 was a significant milestone forbidding gender-based discrimination in employment. However, it did not address all areas of discrimination. For example, until 1967, Executive Order 11375 was needed to ban sex-based discrimination in federal employment and among government contractors. Abortion laws have been a contentious issue, with various states reforming their laws based on the American Law Institute Model Penal Code in the late 1960s. California's abortion law, for instance, was declared unconstitutional in People v. Belus in 1969 due to its vagueness and denial of due process. Despite progress, many laws still discriminate against women. The absence of explicit constitutional protection for women in the U.S. Constitution leaves them vulnerable to abuses such as child marriage, which remains legal in many states, and female genital mutilation, which is not prohibited in all states. International treaties like the Convention on the Elimination of Discrimination Against Women, CEDAW, which the U.S. has not ratified, highlight the gaps in national laws protecting women's rights. The proposed Equal Rights Amendment, ERA, aims to address these gaps by guaranteeing equal rights and prohibiting sex-based discrimination at the constitutional level. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.